good morning everyone welcome back to my channel um apologies if you can hear uh what well, sounds like a truck it is a truck outside um for some reason they've just pulled up and have sat there with their engine running i know for the last 10 minutes or so so it doesn't look like he's going anytime soon so if you can hear that apologize for that um, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, I think five entries into my challenge. Um, I don't know who they're from. Well, some of them I know who they're from because they put the name on the back. But um, other than that, I don't know. So I've covered up addresses. So let's have a look and see. That's pretty. Are you seeing that? That's lovely. A dive dimensional card there the little tiny i think it's a dog it's so cute time to celebrate ah <gasps> sending birthday wishes have a wonderful day i hope you have a lovely birthday if i close my twinches entry not to send so i sent them all thank you for setting the challenge hillary thank you hillary wow look in here guys so you can send more than two it doesn't you know i'm not and I don't mind, I'll just put three on a page rather than two. But um, these are lovely, look at these. Beautiful. They've got um, lovely little paper flowers and little glittery um, die cut leaves behind. And this paper underneath, has, it's got dendritic um, paint on it. So it's been hand painted as well. Those are lovely, Hilary. I'm going to pop your name on them because I'm worried that I'm going to... Um, I'm worried that I will uh, mess them all up and not remember whose is whose so I'm going to pop names on the back beautiful there's a little dimensional butterfly there and a silver die cut beautiful I love that paper as well brilliant thank you Hilary there we go let's pop that there and then this one has got another type of um, paper lovely love that dendritic effect on there that's fab this does look like water I hope you're all seeing that that's brilliant with a little um, starfish and some that's a good idea as well with the um, leaves I've got some of these leaves, like dried leaves they are, but that's been cut in half and then layered up. Brilliant. Great idea. There we go. Let's put those on there. Thank you very, very much, Hilary. So, in fact, I'll keep all the three together just until the end of the video so that I know where everything's come from. Thank you. Let's put that down there. Right, next we've got this one. This is a fab envelope made from a map, a page of map. That's quite clever. I can't show you the front really, it's got my address on it, but it's brilliant. If you look inside, it's map inside as well. Brilliant, a great idea. Travelled well as well. Right, let's have a look. Right, sorry about that guys, I had to, uh, I'm going to have to redo that bit of the video because I pulled something out and it had uh, Lynn's address on it and it's, I don't think it's up to me to be sharing that. So, um, yeah, sorry if, if the editing's poor, that's that's the, the reason why. This is beautiful, beautiful um, card that she has made um, and I'm not turning it over because her address is on the back of that, but that is gorgeous. I absolutely love that really nice piece of um it could be a jelly print i think it looks like one with things on top and it's all stitched around the outside that's beautiful linda i love that lynn i love that now she said on here she's used jelly prints die cuts collage nouveau drops and gilding polish so let's have a look i'm really intrigued to see and not only has she made me two little twinches but she's made two little pockets to put them in as well. How cool is that? So this is the lovely Lynn um, Barkus. And um, she 
well she often um, comments on my channel probably on your channels as well um, and we've had a, a couple of email conversations about um, pick tens and, and things like that so I'm really glad that you've joined in Lynn that's brilliant so look at this lovely little pocket here with um, it's like an inchy on the on the on the side fab that's really cool and look in here look at that that is gorgeous Oh, I love that. I'm, I'm looking really deeply at the um, jelly print underneath. That's very, that's a lovely jelly print. And there's a little bit of um, either glitter, um, stickles or, um, oh, I don't know. It could be glitter Mod Podge on there as well. Beautiful. Love it. Love the little word and this uh, die cut as well underneath. That's very clever. Beautiful. Brilliant, you've put your initials on the back there, so I shall know that's from you. Thank you, Lynn. Right, I'll pop that up there. And then we've got this one. Out you come. Oh, beautiful. I love these. See, it's so cool seeing everybody's different take and different sort of style of art. So I've got some little button die cuts there and a beautiful hydrangea on... Um, another I like that grid I do really like that grid <laughs> that's a really cool die cut and then um, again with the if you doodled around that because that is a really cool idea and I often print things out and then don't like them because of the um, outside but that is a really good idea I'm going to pinch that thank you ever so much Lynn those are beautiful really really beautiful what a cool envelope as well that's really clever Thank you very much. I'm going to pop them all back in there so that I remember that they're from you. Lovely. Thank you very, very much. Let's put that so it doesn't attach to the wrong thing. Right. Next we have this one. It doesn't want to come out. Am I doing something wrong? Oh no. Just tightly packed, I think. Ooh. Oh, look here. That's a pretty card with an elephant on it. Lovely paper on the back. I like this down here. That's, um, I mean, it's a really dull day. It's really hard to see. But that, it's not just gold. It's got some kind of pink in it as well. Clever. Very clever. Yeah, I like that as well. Dear Steph, here is my entry into your birthday giveaway. I hope you get a lot of support and your channel grows a bit. Take care, stay safe with love. Christine, Christine's cards and things. Oh, Christine, that's lovely. Thank you ever so much. I love the elephant, but I'm, 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 I really like that. That's I like the offset letters. So you get all sorts of ideas when people send things in. And then um, Christine, bless her, has put hers in a lovely bag with a topper and everything. Thank you, Christine. Now, how do I get into it? I don't want to rip anything. I might have to rip the bottom of the bag. I bet you're all saying, oh no, there's an easy way in. No, I can't find it. Let's cut it a bit, because I don't want to, I don't like tearing things so I don't have to. Let's just let's try that. Oops. Or maybe they'll just pop out actually and then come on out. Out you come. And look at that lovely paper in there. Like watercolour uh, tulips. Beautiful. I like that. Thank you, Christine. So isn't it amazing what you can do on just a piece of um, card or paper that's two inches by two inches? That's lovely. I like the idea there that you've you've got a lovely flower on there and a beautiful background paper, but your your die cut has gone over the um, flower. That's really clever. Thank you, Christine. I like that. I'm just going to pop your name on the back, just so that I don't forget who's is whose. Ah, oh, look at these. There's a little nest, a little bunch of lavender. Um, a hen with two little chicks and a tiny little white rabbit. Beautiful. And I like this background as well. I wonder if that's been made with washi tape or, um, or strips of paper maybe. Beautiful. Lovely colour as well. Green. 
Thank you, Christine. And I will leave links to people's channels um, in the description box below so that you can go and subscribe or and have a look and see what other things they're making. Lovely. Little tiny bunny and some little flowers there. I love that gold. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Christine. Thanks for joining in. And I'm going to keep all those three in there for now so that I don't lose sight of them. Put that one on there. Thank you. Right, that is empty. Right, another one here is from. Um, now, I think this one did say who it was from on the envelope. I think it was Wendy. Hopefully you've popped your name in here. Look, there's a lovely card, well, a lovely envelope with um, ladybirds on it. That's really nice. Oh, it is Wendy. Lovely. Made with love. Beautiful. Lovely. Very pretty card. Thank you, Wendy. Lovely. To Steph, I hope you like the twinches I have made for your challenge. Take care and stay safe. Crafty Hugs Wendy. Thank you very much, Wendy. And Wendy's also put hers in a little... Um... Oh, I've lost the word. Like a bag. I was going to say something silly, like um, a plastic delivery system. And then I, once I'd thought of that, I could literally not think of anything else. So um, that's beautiful. Let's have a look in there. Very nicely packaged. And I can't get in. There we go. Are you going to come out like that or not? Yes, we are. That's really pretty. I love the topper here. Look, with the bow and the hearts. Very nice. Thank you. So we've got three. I wonder... Oh, they're stuck on with a foam pad. Do I want to take them off or leave them on? I might leave them on and put your name... Oh, then I have to write on the paper. Oh. I'm going to leave them together for now. So let's have a look. We've got one here. Now that looks like... Um, decoupaged tissue paper on there I might be wrong but it, it looks like that and it's got two hearts it says with love on them and I think these have all got the same background this one's got um, a heart die cut and a smile written on it and a die cut and this is clever because it's using the punch spaces where the um, hearts have come out as a border very cool and a lovely little red heart there. Thank you ever so much, Wendy. That's very kind of you. Thank you for joining in. So there's um, three from Wendy. And I'm going to keep them together and stuck on there for now so that I know that those are yours. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back and watch all my videos again, aren't I, to see who sent what. Right, and then the last one hasn't come far. Because I see it on the postcode, we're in the same postal region. Okay, so this is from the lovely Angie Bowman. And she said, I really enjoyed making these for your birthday challenge. Um, she doesn't want to be entered into the draw, but she wanted to send them anyway. That's really kind, Angie. Thank you so much and thank you for supporting. That's lovely. So let's have a look on here. So... She's got a lovely sticker on the back that has got her, well, it's got her email, but it's also got her phone number, so I won't show you that. If I can get into it without, oh, there we go. And look here, these are beautiful. So these ones are a little bit more vintage style. Um, I love vintage style, I love anything, but um, these are really, really beautiful. Create flowers. Got a lovely backing paper. And then we've got a rose and some words there. These are, look like the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Traditions, that's nice, with the Christmas tree and the two little children. Cute as a bunny. And this looks like the white rabbit with his hat there. 
lovely and these have got um, like washi or something some printed washi underneath um not washi what do i mean vellum on it as well very pretty with brave wings she flies that's lovely and a beautiful robin thank you ever so much and those are done on corrugated cardboard can you see painted corrugated cardboard that's a good idea beautiful thank you angie i'm going to pop your name on the back here as well and then i'll know that those are yours beautiful thank you ever so much guys that's really kind of you um, for joining in if people have got a channel i will link it in the description box and um yeah i'm just really really pleased i'm already excited to put all these in the book i shall wait till i've got um quite a few more and then i'll start designing my pages so i know what i want to do with them but yeah exciting times thank you ever so much for entering and you've still got plenty of time if you haven't entered i think i said till the middle of march or something like that so i gave given people loads of time to to do it or send from abroad or whatever you want to do Okay, folks, so thanks a lot and um, I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.